What are some of your earliest experiences uh, with uh, expressing yourself as a human being? Um, you know, right now acting, people know you for acting. Um, I just want to take you to re back earlier point in your life. Um, what are some of your earliest memories with uh, expressing yourself as an artist or as a as a human being? They were the most powerful moments moments that I, I was able to feel in front of people. You dig? And see, where I was brought up, you couldn't, they were not allowed to feel. But when you start doing it, bro, it it cleans you out, bro. Of all the, oh, I'm sorry about that. So it was it was a re, it was a release for me. It was a beautiful thing for me, you know. And then uh, now, shit, I uh, I express myself as much as I can. And with his acting, bro, the acting saved my life because I was able to do things. And even though sometimes it would look like a weak character, we're all weak in some parts of our life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta show them feelings. You can't just be a hard dude all the time. So now I'm able to laugh. I'm able to cry, and. But now I do it without just being an actor. I do it just immediately better doing this. And you know what? It feels more, so much better. You know. Yeah. You know, what What are some of the things that uh, some of the art that you look that 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 you like? Um, some of the things that fill you up and fuel you up. You know, my thing is I uh, I go back to my old R and B man. You know, I'm an R and B guy. You know, and even though sometimes it takes me to a dark place, um, I could always change the flip the record now and bring me back to a happy place. You dig? See, before the dark place, you couldn't get out. Of the, the, the dark house, you can't get out of that, brother. You know what I'm saying? I remember times where I was. You know, in a closet, and there was a song by War called uh, "Deliver the Word," and I would just be slamming heroin in that closet. Think about this now. Picture this motherfucking piece. I'd be in a closed-up closet, listening to this song that was back then. We had cassette tapes, and it would just be in a loop, the song over and over again. You dig? Listening to it. It's a dark song, and just in a dark moment for like about 18 hours. You know what I'm saying, and uh, and that, and then it's still the one of these, to this day is one of my favorite songs. Watch it. It's called "Deliver the Word" by War. You gotta check it. You listen to the words, brother. It's gonna fuck you up, man. Yeah, two more things. Um, Sons of Anarchy, man. I, I think I watched that from beginning to end um, without blinking, man. That was uh, I, I couldn't stop watching it, man. And once I got the first episode going, I watched it straight through to the end because I I heard about it later. Um, how are you reflecting on that experience on um, being a part of that? Because uh, I thought it was perfect, man. I, I loved every piece of it. You know, what well, Sons just as South the West, when I read it, I knew it was going to do well. Because there was no shows like it out there, you know. And what it was, Kurt Sutter actually put the bikers, what you think a biker's life is, what, so you could watch in the comfort of your home or the safety of your home. You dig what I'm saying? That's what made it good. And uh, But uh, I like, um, see, Marcus Alvarez is Emilio Rivera 28 years ago. You dig what I'm saying? Very heartless man. Very, you know, that's who I was. So it's easy for me. That's my love playing Marcus Alvarez because I get to revisit that guy and not have to deal with the trouble. You know what I'm saying, bro? So it's nice for me. I have a lot of people who lost their life to addiction. My uncle passed away. Those are his twins. So when he died, I tattooed his twins because that's all he talked about. Was the rock. You know what I mean, so it's like everyone asked me about my tattoos on my hand. But it was my uncle's twins, and he died like um, not really being able to like experience full fatherhood and stuff. Um, but he he was an addict. Um, he was an addict. You know, so I, he was also an artist. You know, so and I feel like art could have saved him if he really believed in himself. Um, you know, what's what's your advice to people who, um, you know, maybe struggling, but you know, also have a light in them that they haven't brought out yet? Well, the thing is, is you know, that a lot of times the see the the drugs, man, and uh, is the easy way out. Fuck the easy way out, homie. Anybody can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? And we all got a piece. We all we're all artists in some kind of way. We got something. We just gotta find it. But what's happening? What we we're trying to, we we're too high to find the motherfucking shit. Leave the shit alone and, and find yourself, you dig? And uh, you know what, man? It took me 29 years to find myself. But you know what? I found what I have. I have homeboys who are the most baddest artists, bro. I mean, bad could sing, but they like the other shit too much, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's the easy way out, man. Don't go, don't go take the easy way. Anybody can do that shit. Fuck that.